another day, another Jackson State signing. I um, ran out of adjectives describing T.C. Taylor's recruiting game. It's, it's ridiculous. Landing them players. Now, not too long ago, he just got a four-star, former four-star linebacker, transferred from LSU, 6'4", 255 pounds, played his high school ball in Georgia. Now, you got naysayers that's going to say, well, he didn't do nothing at LSU. It's kind of hard to do something at LSU when you sitting behind five-star players. Philip Webb, he realized it wasn't going to happen at LSU. So now he's going to Jackson State University where he probably contribute. It's just crazy. T.C. Taylor's outside doing it. And it's not much drop off from last year. You might say that Jackson State got more talent in 2023 than they had in 2022. This got to get that quarterback situation right and keep adding offensive linemen and defensive linemen. Like Jackson State is loaded. Also, shout out to FAMU. They stacking players. Shout out to Alabama and them. They stacking players. Southern stacking players. Grambling stacking players. It's just better football. It's gonna be better brand of football in 2023 than it was in 2022. It's always a good thing when you're adding former four-star football players, linebackers, 6'4", 255 pounds. A lot of times they just need an opportunity to play and get coached up. So Philip Webb, welcome to Jackson State. I'm glad Ed Reed apologized for his outburst. Wasn't professional. And I got a question for Ed Reed. Did you even visit the school before you took the job? Like, we all know HBCUs have issues. But did you visit the school before you took the job? Have you been studying, researching? Have you, have, have you had that sit down with Reggie Theus? I'm glad you apologize. Also, I have a question. What's up with the contract? Why well, ain't signed the contract yet? When is the press conference? Why are they waiting so long to, to have a press conference with that read? Making it official. I ain't hear about no contract numbers on what Ed Reed is going to make. This seems kind of odd to me. Most of the time when you hire a coach, we know the contract details. He gets a big press conference. You kind of put his face out there, especially when you hire a coach like Ed Reed, Hall of Famer, like the best safety ever. So what's going on? The money not right? Or I, I don't know. But Ed Reed should be all over the place. Now, more than likely, he got the job because he out there cleaning up the place, cleaning his office. But why no? Why no? Uh, Why no press conference? When is that gonna go down? You got Ed Reed as your coach. He should be all over the place. Shoot, he should be on billboards. Should be out there fundraising. That just seems strange to me. I hope it ain't no money, no money issue. I just wanna know when they're gonna make their official announcements, announcement and give them a press conference champion their new coach who could bring them millions of dollars in revenue just by making appearances and talking to old NFL buddies and talking to the U. Warren Sapp is funny. He wanted all the attention. He got the mohawk working and he got the cream color pants on that look like they're painted on. <laughs> Cracks me up.